Hello, my name is Lucas Wensing and I'm the CEO of StartReady. We are a specialist product company in Unified Communications by Microsoft. We develop appliances and software for our partners to quickly and easily deploy link-based communication solutions. We are a 25-people company with over 200 customers in both Europe and the United States, managing over 60,000 voice deployed seats on a daily basis. We are proud to announce the Appliance for Link 2013, a product that brings major improvements in reliability, deployment options and ease of use that makes this appliance the most mature in its kind. Today, we will show you how a typical customer can deploy Microsoft Link based on our newest appliance. The StartReady deployment platform helps in designing the customer configuration, deploying the components and so delivering the customer solution. Take in mind a 300 user customer that gets a full enterprise voice implementation of Microsoft Link, including all the roles and add-ons that will make Link their new PBX. To show flexibility, we will deploy an optional add-on, in this case, our phone manager. For this demo, we've added a customer called Contoso to the system. The customer overview shows us all information like customer details, projects we've done already, implemented software components, and some technical customer details. For this customer, we've built a deployment project, including a standard link configuration and a phone manager add-on. Visible is that all the link roles will be deployed, including the phone manager add-on. Depending on the selected project configuration, SDP needs customer-specific details. For example, IP addresses and server names are customer-specific and therefore need to be filled in before deployment can start. The set of questions depends on the configuration, what means that, for example, we ask a total different set of questions for an enterprise deployment. Also, per add-on we can configure a question set. In result, this is always a customer-specific questionnaire. After project definition, the customer logs into the system to answer all the questions that are technical and project-related. After validation, we are ready for deployment. After all this is finished, the actual appliance can be implemented. We can ship the box to the customer premises anywhere in the world and have it switched on in the server rack. All appliances are alike when shipped, but based on the given configuration, it will deploy accordingly. As soon as the appliance is switched on, it will download its specific configuration from our network operating center. The next step is that implementation takes place and the appliance connects itself to our NOC for proactive maintenance, patching and updating, and support. We need this step to be able to service the service level agreement for the customer. The customer is ready to roll and the deployment engineer will use the director to start and manage the deployment. A typical deployment takes about two hours. Progress is reported in a visual manner. First, we connect to the appliance at the customer's premises. And now, we are connected to the system and are ready to launch the project. The project is starting. The colored blocks provide us with progress indication. A blue block is a step currently in progress and the number indicates the percentage done. If it completes, it will become green. We can down drill in each step to see progress and, in case of an issue, step in and fix the potential deployment problem. In those cases, we can also restart the block to continue with the implementation. Blocks can run sequential and in parallel, depending on the dependencies. A detailed log file helps the deployment engineer to monitor the process and report issues. At the end of the deployment, we notice all the green blocks which tell us that the implementation of the appliance, including the add-on that we selected, is now complete. You have just witnessed a deployment example of SDP. Although you have not seen all aspects of the deployment engine, it is important to realize that you can completely separate projects, configurations, locations and add-ons. Also, we can specifically determine when to deploy or when to change certain parts of the solution. We can use SDP for our complete appliance portfolio, which means for our basic appliance, our scale-out appliances, the BCA, our enterprise appliances and the management appliances. Next to handling the deployment, the tool is used throughout the customer's lifetime to serve as an important means for support. 
Both our partners and our customers use the product to gain insight in the current configuration and manage changes during the support contract. Thank you for watching this preview movie. We will have all software components for the 2013 version of our link appliance available for our partners and customers at launch time. Stay tuned for more updates.